You know, in this job where we are privileged to interview world leaders, athletes, and artists, I'm often asked who's the most amazing person I've met. Well, it just might be the couple you're about to meet. Not famous and certainly not wealthy. But the joy that comes to fill their lives in the form of a child is a lesson for us all. Their love story begins like many others. Dashing soldier meets pretty young woman. There's a courtship, a marriage, and then the hopes, the prayers for a child. So you, you two wanted children. Yes. And you tried for 16 years. And eventually decided to adopt? We had discussed it before, but I don't think we ever fully gave up of having a baby of our own. Um, we did get pregnant once and unfortunately miscarried at 18 weeks. You decided to adopt. We knew someone who got pregnant. She became pregnant and, and she decided not to keep that child. Right. Yes. And you said what? We'll take it. So she was only 11 weeks pregnant. So it was amazing. I got to go through the whole pregnancy with her. I took her to every doctor's appointment. I saw every sonogram. It was an amazing experience. They named their little boy Robert Jr. Brought him home and continued the adoption paperwork. We were happy. But the blue-eyed love bundle, nicknamed Bubby, displayed some unnerving signs. He was about two days old, and we thought he quit breathing. We didn't know what was happening. So we took him to our family doctor, and um, they checked him over and said, you know, he's fine, it's probably colic. Turns out it wasn't colic, and Bubby wasn't fine. Well, it kept happening. He sent us finally to a neurologist where they did just a little 20-minute EEG and found out that he was seizing the entire 20 minutes. As it happened, that's the same day the adoption was finalized, the day they'd waited for, 16 years. The day this child fully became their own is the day they learned his diagnosis. He has intractable epilepsy, which basically means uncontrolled. Um, he takes seven medications and has an implant and still has seizures almost daily. Um, he also has ataxic cerebral palsy. He's not able to sit on his own or walk or stand, but he has an amazing personality. <coughs> to say that Shannon and Robert have sacrificed for their son is an understatement. Both had good jobs in Kansas City, where Bubby came into their lives. I was an electrician. I quit my job. She had the, uh, you know, the, the good health insurance and everything else. And uh, there really are no other options. We're taking this financial hit, but of course, our only concern, uh, or our biggest concern, was our son. Um, and uh, the epilepsy just started getting worse and worse and worse. The seizures just. Uh, they were just so bad. 25, 30 seizures a day. Shannon and Robert sleep in shifts, so one parent is always awake to monitor for signs of the dreaded seizures. What's that? So when he's sleeping, we attach it to his toe, and a very loud alarm will go off, essentially letting us know he's having a seizure. But it doesn't always work. No. Home is a tidy double wide on the outskirts of Houston, where Bubby, now five, has his own room. After their move, Shannon found a job in the oil industry, and then oil prices cratered. After surviving many rounds of layoffs, it finally happened, and my entire department was let go. I'm the financial provider for my family, you know, and now... Her income, when she has it, can bring its own problems. So currently, Bubby gets um, SSI, which enables him to get uh, Medicaid. Well, it's all based on income. When I worked, he would lose his Medicaid uh, twice a year um, because I got three paychecks in those months. And if I worked any overtime, um, we would go over the income guideline, which let me tell you is a joke. Um, and he would lose. So he was penalized because you had a job. Yes. No matter what, we can't lose the Medicaid no. because it's what's keeping our son. I, I hate 
to say this, but it's keeping him alive. We've always been responsible, hardworking people, like all, a lot of Americans are. We're not, we don't want handouts. We don't want anybody to give us anything. But we're put into this position where we have to do whatever we have to do for our son. And we will. We will do what we have to do for our son. So this is how you transport Bubby? Yeah, a stroller. A stroller. This is it right now. Why don't you get him a wheelchair? A wheelchair, it keeps getting denied by Medicaid. It, they don't think he needs it or whatever. How many miles on the van? <laughs> 178,000. The AC just went out. So Robert found the parts like used online and spent two days under the van trying to, watching YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> it works, <laughs> sort of. We're half an hour from the hospital. We have to have a vehicle, yeah, you know. So. have to. If he could speak to you, what do you think he'd say? Mac and cheese, <laughs> please. I think food would be it. Very <laughs> motivated food. by food. <laughs> Everything is so basic. Basic like the six month old. That's about where he is here. And that might be where he is for a very long time. This boy they chose to complete their family doesn't speak or stand or even sit without help. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Yet Shannon and Robert are madly in love with their son and devote themselves to trying to meet his many needs. I'm sure there are people who watch this, though, and say, don't they feel cheated? They waited so long. No. They get this child. It's a blessing. It's a blessing from God. He's perfect. We have a good life. It's not. We do. It's not all, you know, doom and gloom. It's not like that at all. We just love him to death. He's our whole life. You don't feel sorry for us because he enjoys life his own way. So excited! And we just love sharing in that. So when we were in Houston for that interview, Bubby had just experienced a, a particularly severe seizure that left him more lethargic than normal during the taping. They do not have a nurse. Robert, as I mentioned, quit his job. He stays home to be Bubby's caretaker. Shannon uh, has found a new job in health care, a line of work she knows very well. And friends who watch them handle their struggles with grace and even happiness set up a trust fund to help take care of Bubby's needs. The information is on the screen if you'd like to help. And we'll put it on our show page as well, foxnews.com slash happening now.